when you find yourself really jumping from, well, maybe I want that and maybe I want that. It's because you're not in the vibrational place where you're getting inspiration from that broader point of view. Now here's why. So everything that you've been asking for, you've been putting into this vortex and the vortex, this vibrational reality has been spinning and churning and gathering unto itself cooperative components. And usually you're the last of the cooperative components to join it, but nevertheless, it's there. Another way of saying it is your inner being who has become the equivalent of all that you've been asking for knows exactly what you're reaching for because that part of you has already become it. So another way of saying it is we, we like to put ourselves in your vortex in that category. We know who you've become. We know where everything you want is, and we know the path of least resistance from our point of view that will lead you to it. And even more important, we know where you stand in relationship to it. So we're offering constant impulses to help you find your way to where what you, you want to be. That's why sometimes you feel like you want to do that. And other times you feel like you want to do something else. Sometimes you're tapped in to that enthusiastic knowledge that the source within you is inspiring. And sometimes you're not. And so it's to the degree of your alignment that causes those fluctuations. When you realize that you get to create your own reality and that if this time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire something within you, it has the wherewithal to deliver it, then it sort of kind of makes you want to be more high minded in your thoughts. There are only two ways to bring yourself into alignment. Let's talk about this fiscally. Let's say that you have a budget that you're trying to accomplish, which means earn more money or spend less money in order to accomplish the budget. And so that's sort of the mindset that a lot of people have about things. So then you want to translate that to desires and beliefs. So if I have these desires and my beliefs are in alignment with those desires, then I feel good. But if I have these desires and my, my beliefs oppose those desires, then I don't feel so good. So humans translate their fiscal cluelessness to a sort of vibrational misunderstanding too by saying well I want this thing that I can't figure out how to have so I'm just going to talk myself out of wanting it and you think that seems logical if I if I want it and I don't believe it well then I should just stop wanting it and then I've come back into balance but the thing that makes that not work is that you can't there's no regression you can't pull back from the expansion that life has caused you to accomplish. You can only move forward. When you think about something that you want and then you define how you're going to do it, where it's going to come from, who's going to bring it, when it's going to come. And since you don't know the answers to those questions, you just introduce resistance, 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 resistance to the equation till you don't even want to go. But when you talk about what you want and you think about why you want it, you imagine doing it and being there and how it would feel to be in that. Now, can you feel the life giving qualities of that? And what we're proposing here, what we are submitting, what we are knowing for sure, for sure, for sure, is that when you dream like that, you imagine like that, you think those thoughts like that until you've practiced that tree enough until that's the dominant vibration that you've got going on. And that's the momentum that you've got going. Then everything gets swept up in that momentum. And that's something that happens with ease. You don't shoot yourself in the foot by how, where, when, and that sort of thing. Be easy about it and give this thing 30 days, really. There are things you can't control, but you don't have to think about those. And you don't have to muddy up your own vibration by thinking about those. You have the ability to focus upon the aspects of what you're doing that feels good until you purify your own vibration. And there's a leverage that you will experience when you do that, that just will knock your socks off because there's you, the energy that creates worlds is flowing to you and through you. And you're the only one who opens the nozzle and points it toward what you want or who pinches it off. You're doing all of that with your day-to-day -day thoughts. Just say.